Hey, what is up guys? It's Swerve. Instead of doing a preview of my videos like I normally do, I'm going to be doing the small review on a controller I got from Dynamic Essentials. Now, if you want to get one yourself, you can actually use the code RSP13 on GoForMods.com. I'll leave all that in the description, and I highly recommend you do that because literally, this is the best controller money can buy. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing it, but right from the start, you can actually see that it has a very nice gold chrome finish. And uh, it's just very high quality. It's not like cheap paint or anything. It's just a straight up very nice high quality finish. And uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to get out this with one hand because I'm actually holding the camera with the other one. Couldn't figure out a way because I don't have like a tripod or anything to hold up my uh, camera. But you'll see right here, it's very nice and uh, just the coat is just so nice in general. But if I actually turn it on, it has a white LED and it, it just comes with so many modes. Like, for example, all of the modes you would get for extra by checking off the boxes on those uh, other websites, you actually have to pay a lot more. For, for example, if you enable all the mods that are on this controller, you probably have to pay like $200 or more. So, yeah, you'll see on the back here, it actually has that small little button on the left side. And uh, that's just to activate the rapid fire. And let's say if I had drop shot, I would enable it. And then I'd press RT. It would shoot and then drop me to the ground. But, yeah, this is just a basic review of it. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the video. But, yeah, hope you, hope you guys will go check that out. And, yeah, see ya. Hey, what is up guys? It's Swerve, and today I'm going to be showing you an unlimited ammo pileup glitch that works on any wall. So what you're going to want to do is have a friend host the game for you and save a zombie, and from here everyone in the game needs to stand in front of the vulture aid perk, and on the count of three, everyone must buy it. Once everyone buys it, the host must leave and it will cause a host migration, meaning the game will still count for public match. Once the migration ends, simply take the zombie anywhere you want to create a pileup, but I just chose the upstairs of the church, and you can draw any weapon you want on the wall using the chalk. And then you just want to kill the zombie as close as possible, and now the green mist will stay there forever. So at the beginning of every round, everyone must walk forward for a second, then move back, and the zombies will pile up in front of you. You can also shoot as well as knife and collect all power-ups that drop. I believe the founder of this glitch is Crazy Fly Gaming and Bootleg Kool-Aid, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but until next time, I'm out. In the mirror, these other rappers should go home like Tia and Samara said. Sipping valets, camel butts in the ashtray Last night was a shit show, passed out in the taxi Girls at shows who claim that they are not hoes I tell her lines at clubs, now we never stand in those Look, a white black kid from uptown Who chose a white white kids from downtown How profound So drink something, smoke something, fuck something Try and make it, fuck the underground Sorry Harriet Tubman, yeah I got fans cause I'm hot Get it? I got fans cause I'm hot I got women on speed down, they say they need miles.